Hi guys, in this video I'm going to look at uh, chapter 2, problem 2 of Castle Amber. Okay, right. In this question, they have given us the PDF, they have given us the relationship between y and x, uh, and they have given us the PDF of x, and we have to find the PDF of y. Right. To do this, I'm going to use theorem 2.1.5, and to do use this, there are two conditions, y equal to gx, and this g, it should be monotone. And the other condition is derivative, like g, the inverse function should have a continuous derivative on whatever the domain of y. Okay, right. So now, first, dx is equal to x squared. Okay, so this is, you can clearly see this is uh, increasing, this is your gx, gx x equal to x squared and this is x and this is gx between 0 and 1 it is a monotone increasing function okay then uh, we have to find g inverse y how do you find g inverse y i'm going to plug in instead of x i'm going to plug in g inverse y okay g g inverse y this is going to give me g inverse y whole thing squared okay so g into g inverse it becomes y so this is g inverse y whole thing squared to get rid of the squared sign i'm going to take square root of both sides so this becomes y to the power half g inverse y so the inverse function is g inverse y is equal to y to the power half and we, right Okay, next. Then x is between x is between 0 and 1. x is between 1, 0 and 1. So x squared is between 1 squared and 0 squared. x squared means y because y is equal to x squared. So y is between 0 and 1, right? When you take the derivative, this becomes <coughs> half y to the power negative half and it's a polynomial and like it could be uh, continuous between 0 and 1. Okay, right. So we have second condition is also satisfied. Right. <coughs> now you can apply this theorem and get the answer directly. I'll delete this so I can use that space. So fyy is going to be equal to fx. Now instead of g inverse y, your g inverse y it is y to the power half. Absolute value of d over dy, <coughs> y to the power half. Right. Here, when it says fx y to the power half, every place where there is x, you are going to plug in or substitute y to the power half. Okay. No, but now this is a strange PDF. It is simply one. So there is no place for you to substitute y to the power half. It's just one. So you would just put it as one. Then when you take the derivative of y to the power half, this becomes half y to the power half minus one. This is positive, right? Because y is between zero and one, it is positive. So absolute value would stay the same. So f y y the pdf of y is half y to the power negative half and y is between 0 and 1 okay so we are done with we are done with problem number 2 part a right. we'll move on to the next question next now uh, gx or oh, y is equal to negative log x and x has this PDF, this is the PDF, and x is between 0 and 1, and m comma n, these are positive integers. Now, <clears throat> gx is equal to negative log x, okay, and when, if you plot this between 0 and 1, okay, you can see it is a monotone, this is your gx, which is negative log x, okay. So it is a monotone decreasing function, right? So now you have to find 
g inverse y how do you find g inverse y instead of x i'm going to plug in g inverse y which is equal to negative log g inverse y okay right so g g inverse y it becomes g uh, y which is then this is equal to negative log g inverse y okay so i would to get rid of the negative sign i would multiply both sides by negative so this becomes negative y is equal to log g inverse y now i need to get rid of this natural log as well i would take exponential from both sides so this become e to the power negative y is equal to g inverse y right so we found that as well okay right now <clears throat> we can simply apply the formula we learned earlier fx g inverse y it is e to the power negative y okay and d over dy e to the power negative y okay right now before that we have to find the domain of y right x is between 1 and 0 okay so log x is between log of 1 ln of 1 is equal to 0 and ln of 0 this is like undefined but we know that limit x goes to 0 log of x this is equal to negative infinity okay so i'm going to use this and put this as negative infinity now i have to multiply everything by negative okay so this becomes negative negative infinity this is this changes inequality side changes right and this becomes greater than negative infinity so i can write this properly as zero negative log x is between c uh, zero and positive infinity that means y is between zero and positive infinity okay right so we found that as well y is between zero and positive infinity now <clears throat> we'll come back here so if this becomes fx e to the power negative y that means wherever there is x wherever there is x you're going to plug in e to the power negative y so this becomes n plus m plus 1 factorial over n factorial over m factorial instead of x it is going to be e to the power negative y to the power n okay then 1 minus e to the power negative y to the power m and when you take the derivative this becomes negative 1 e to the power negative y now because of this absolute sign you can get rid of this negative so it becomes e to the power negative y right so this is n plus m plus 1 factorial over n factorial over m factorial so this is e to the power negative n y 1 minus e to the power negative y whole thing to the power m and e to the power negative y now you can combine the powers of these two terms right so this becomes pdf of y becomes n plus m plus 1 factorial over n factorial over m factorial e to the power negative i'll take a y out so this becomes n plus 1 i combine these two terms okay and 1 minus e to the power negative y to the power m okay right this is the final answer and domain of y is this okay y is between 0 and positive infinity okay right we'll move on to the next question right <clears throat> now x is between uh, 0 and x is between uh, 0 and positive infinity okay right and y is equal to e to the power x and fxx is given to us and yeah that's it first we look at gx gx is e to the power x and between 0 and this would go up to positive infinity this is your x axis and this is your gx okay 
i which is equal e to the power x this is monotone increase function in the domain of x right so we are fine with that to find uh, g inverse y i would plug in g inverse y instead of x so this becomes e to the power g inverse y so this is y e to the power g inverse y so to get rid of the exponential i would take natural logarithm of both sides so this becomes log of y and g inverse y okay so g inverse y is equal to log of y right okay now i'll get rid of this term because we don't need it anymore and this tiny infinite sign as well okay so now <clears throat> fyy before that we have to find the domain of y right so x is between x is between uh, positive infinity and 0 so e to the power x would be between e to the power positive infinity and e to the power 0 e to the power 0 this is 1 e to the power x this is y e to the like e to the power infinity it is it is infinity so y would range between 1 and positive infinity now to find the probability density function i would use the theorem again we learned right so this is fx g inverse y and absolute value of d over dy g inverse y okay so this is 1 over sigma squared x e to the power negative okay now i made a mistake here see instead of x instead of x i should have substituted g inverse y okay don't make that mistake right So in, instead of every x, instead of every x here, here I would plug in g inverse y, which is log of y. Log of y goes here. Log of y goes here. So this is instead of x, it is log of y, and e to the power negative log of y divided by sigma whole thing squared and divided by 2 and inside you have to the, take the derivative of g inverse y which is uh, log of y when you take the derivative it becomes 1 over y okay so this is finally this is 1 over sigma squared log y over y i'm combining this because now i can get rid of this absolute value y differs between 1 and positive infinity so 1 over y is always positive right. so this is e to the power negative log y over sigma whole thing squared divided by 2 and y ranges between 1 and positive infinity f y y right that's it and, uh, that's the final answer Thank you guys for listening and if you have any questions please let me know like just leave a comment okay i'll try to make a video and explaining any statistical concepts or any other problems you have thank you guys